Just watch how I do it. How I do it. Just watch how I do it. How I do it. Just watch how I do it. What's up, beautiful people? I'm Erin, and this is Erin On Demand, and today's video is all about course creation. Now, I am fresh off of creating my course and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. It is called the Creator to CEO course and we have been working on it pretty much since July of 2021. So it has been about six months that it's taken us to put this course together and I am telling y'all it is insane. Now my course is for content creators who are looking to tap into their inner CEO and really turn your content creation into your full-time job. That is essentially what I did and I'm sharing with you guys all of the things that I did to grow a nearly seven figure business in just under three years. Now, before I get into all of the information on how to create a course, I am one to quickly say that influencers and entrepreneurs are not the same thing. I know that influencers are out here killing the game and content creation appears to be entrepreneurship in some kind of, you know, there are some overlaps, but they are not the same. And I don't think that they should be treated the same. Just because you are great at creating content does not make you great at running a business. And just because you're great at running a business does not mean that you are great at creating content. And that is why, you know, lots of businesses hire content creators because there is, you know, different skill sets. But you can be both and i am a direct example of the fact that i am both and i do consider myself to be a content creator and an entrepreneur because i've developed business skills and i've also developed content and marketing skills as well so when i was starting Aaron on demand and my business was video production i actually started Aaron on demand as a video production company to help small businesses tell their stories on social media and online and as I was, you know, growing that business, I started my YouTube channel and that's when things started to really take off. As I was growing on YouTube, I was like, okay, you know, I wasn't seeing that money going back into my business. I wasn't getting more video clients. It was more so people asking me questions about, you know, branding their business and creating their YouTube channels and how I had gotten to where I currently was. As a, as a YouTuber, I was creating all this content, stirring up all of this, you know, this big community. And I was like, okay, like, where's all the money? <laughs> like, where is it? You know, YouTube ads was great, but I knew that there was an opportunity for me to solve a bigger problem that I couldn't only with using YouTube. So I now call YouTube the heartbeat of my business because it does fuel and it does market my business for me, but it is not my business. So my business is a marketing company where I help content creators, I help small business owners market their business so that they are successful in reaching who they're trying to reach. As time goes, your business does change, but that brought me to this course because there are so many gaps in between creating content and building a business. And although, you know, we have all the social media gurus and all the entrepreneur gurus, which I love seeing so many people sharing how their experience has brought them financial freedom, there are a lot of core business principles that I still feel like people need to understand if you want to grow your content creation and turn it into your full-time business. So the Creator to CEO course is for content creators and influencers who are looking to grow a business from their content. It's not necessarily for businesses who are trying to grow their content. This is specifically for content creators who are on Instagram, who are YouTubers, and who are trying to figure out what is, you know, how can I make this my full-time job? This is the course for you. In this course, I have seven modules where I'm sharing about mindset shifts, how to get your business organized, how to hire and how to manage a team, and most importantly, how to turn an idea into a full-fledged business offer. So this course is jam-packed with information, and I also threw in a module about influencer marketing and brand deals. So if you are someone who it hasn't reached that point in influencing yet where you need to know more about how to run that part of your business, then I highly recommend the course as well. So 
how did we create the course? So now that you know a bit about my course, I want to take you through the process that it took for us to create it. Now, it took us about seven months from start to finish. I don't want this to intimidate you because there were some periods where we were stopping the holidays, you know, top three relaunch. We had a lot going on in the second half of last year. So it was a little bit stop and go. I would say overall, it probably took us about three months total of like focused work to finish the course. So if you're really focused and you block off the time, it should not take you that long. The first thing that we did though was deciding on what the course was going to be about because with my content, like there could have been several different ways that we spun the course. I considered doing a course on how to start a membership club. I considered doing a course on several different topics, but ultimately I wanted to create a course for content creators like myself who were transitioning into full-time entrepreneurship and needed help filling in those gaps. So that's who we ended up targeting. And if you haven't seen my past target audience persona video, I highly recommend you check that out because that's the big thing that I was looking at when I was trying to figure out the angle that we wanted to take this course. The second step we took was trademarking the name of the course. So creator to CEO, I just felt like that was going to be a name that really stuck and that it would be a brand that we can extend from Aaron on demand. So I wanted to make sure that we got Instagram handles, website, and that we trademarked it in the ways that we were using it for apparel, for you know education. So we filed all of the trademarks and handle all the legalities of the course name in the beginning. So that way, while we were working on it, we didn't have any surprises of anyone trying to you know create with our name. So protect yourselves. I promise you it is worth the money. The third step was outlining the entire course. I kind of got stuck in this space because I just feel like I have so much information inside of me <laughs> and I was trying to include every possible thing that I knew in this course. And it's hard to kind of boil it down into the most pivotal things that you know your audience is going to need. So the first thing was outlining the entire course. So module, we, we have seven modules. So when I say outlining the entire course, selecting the modules and then writing down each lesson that is going to be within the module. So, you know, if there, there is a module on brand deals and influencer marketing. And so we had to outline each lesson that is going to go within that module. And then the next step after we had the entire bird's eye view of the course outlines, I had to go in and outline every single lesson. And I was the type where I kept thinking of a new lesson that would be great to go in. And so it, that was the part that took the longest outlining the entire course of lessons. That part took me the longest because I knew that I wanted everything to be as thorough as possible. So in, and with that comes, you know, doing some research, going back to past videos that I had recorded, looking at some e-brand lessons. Like I was doing a lot of research while I was in the outlining stage. So that made it a long process. The next thing we decided on was to hire a course designer. Now this actually happened before the course was outlined, but I would highly suggest you hire your course designer after you have all of the course content done because um, it took me a very long time to outline all of the lessons and I experienced quite a bit of fatigue, like mental fatigue. So there will be weeks where I just didn't feel like working on the course. So thankfully my course designer is a very close person to me in terms of she works on my team in general. So we contracted her for this specific project. But um, I would recommend if you are going to hire a course designer to do it after you have all of the course content complete. Um, so basically what she does, her name is Sarah. I will leave her information below. Um, what she did was once we had the course outlined, she has a very, very, very organized and streamlined process to bringing your course to life. 
So what I did was created the outlines and she has access to all of the outlines. We basically started using a master Google Doc with all of the outlines from all of the modules. It's probably like 75 pages long. Okay, I wanna give you a quick glimpse into what my course outline document looks like. 69 pages. For every single lesson, we have what the status is. So these are all recorded. This one needs to be recorded recorded, recorded, ready to record. So that means that the outlines are done. I mean, the slides are done. We have a process of once she gets the outline, she makes the slides. So the way that my course is set up is every module or every lesson has a visual aid. So you'll see a presentation and you'll see me talking in a little bubble on the side. I have all of the lessons queued up and then I just put them into present mode in Canva and click present so it's full screen and then i have loom downloaded to my computer so i click on loom and i click start recording i've had all of the little icons and stuff hidden so that it looks really clean on the screen i find that this is the easiest way for me to learn my ebrand club members learn really well when i do live presentations that way so i wanted the course because it is very information heavy to be majority presented with uh, visual aid. So she creates all of the slides. She also creates the sales page. She created all of the logos and graphics for creator to CEO. And she puts everything into the course platform of your choice and she just makes sure everything is smooth sailing. We also opted to do a digital workbook to go along with the course. So every single lesson has something in the workbook. So by the end of the course, you should have pretty much a brand and business plan ready to rock and roll and implement. If you have a large course or if you're someone who knows nothing about creating a course and you need help with putting all the pieces together, I highly recommend hiring a course designer or a course manager. The next thing you wanna decide on is your course platform. And I ended up deciding on Kajabi. I already use Kajabi for my membership club and I'm already paying for it, so I might as well. Now, I did toggle between Kajabi and Thinkific. I also researched Teachable. Um, there are tons of course platforms that I'm sure are incredible. But once I talked to, well, for one, my course designer is most acclimated to doing courses in Kajabi and my Facebook ads manager is most accustomed to doing things with Kajabi when it comes to courses. She recommended, they both recommended Kajabi. So we decided on Kajabi, but I would recommend that you do research on what platform is best for you. I know that some of the other platforms have some really cool features that I wish Kajabi had, but um, for the most part, I think Kajabi is a great platform to host any type of course or digital product on. The next step, once your slides are done and once all that content is ready, uh, I began recording. So what happened was Sarah sent me the slides and I approved them. Once they're approved, they're ready to start recording. I just pulled up to my makeup artist studio. I am going to, you know, get a little glammed for these because these ones I won't have a visual aid for. So today what I'm filming are course um, module intros. These videos are gonna show my entire face. I decided <laughs> to get a little, to get a little glammed and, and beat the face a little bit. So uh, that's why I chose to do, you know, get my makeup professionally done for these. But for the rest of the course, pretty much, if I'm not like, shown on the full screen i didn't get my makeup professionally done there is an intro video that basically like introduces you into the module so i wanted to just be able to read those really fluidly i don't want to have to really edit them at all so we basically um decided to get a teleprompter and script these so i'm gonna show you my scripts this is what they look like it's pretty much just a basic script introducing the module but um this is what you'll feed into the teleprompter teleprompter if you if you did use one so I'm feeding this these scripts into the teleprompter and um, really all you have to do is copy and paste them into the teleprompter app for the one that I got I have been recording like a mad woman and this is the part that's actually fun to me I'm able to get like five four to five lessons recorded in one sitting which usually takes me about two to two and a half hours 
So it depends on obviously how long your actual course lessons are. If they're pretty short, if you're doing a mini course, your recording honestly probably won't take you that long. So my recording setup isn't really that fancy. I pretty much just use a ring light and I'm recording right on my iMac camera. And I also use a Blue Yeti microphone to make sure that my audio is really crisp. So I will leave my microphone link in the description as well. Okay, so once all of the videos are recorded for your course, now you're going to have to start uh, editing it. This step may or may not apply to you if you have you know, gone straight through without any mishaps with your recording. But for me, sometimes I had to take a break, sometimes I had to take a sip of water. So those moments I cut out because I just wanted it to be as smooth and crisp and professional as possible. Once the course is edited, it is ready to be uploaded into your course platform. And this is where I shipped my edited videos off to Sarah. So Sarah, once the videos are edited, she goes in and starts uploading them into the course platform, which for me is Kajabi. And you also are probably gonna wanna create thumbnails for all of your lessons. I also did an intro video for all of my modules. So these are additional things that you have to consider and take time for when you're planning to uh, launch and create your course. Factor these things into your timeline. Now it's time to get your course copyrighted. So this is just going to protect all of the information that is inside of your course. Again, y'all, I don't play when it comes to the legal stuff. So make sure that you copyright it and your workbook, whatever types of digital or course assets that you have, make sure they are copyrighted so that information is protected. The next step is marketing the course. So this is kind of like the phase that we're in right now, getting the buzz out, sharing information about the course, sharing information uh, that's not about the course, that, but, but it pertains to the people that you're trying to reach for the course. This also included for us doing the boxes. So for boxes, those are heavily uh, a marketing tactic for us as well. In addition to us wanting to send you guys some cool stuff, we also understand the power of sending something tangible. Because this course is a digital product, we wanted our you know, course purchasers to have an experience, an in-person experience. So if you do wanna send things um, for your course, I would factor this into your marketing budget because you know, is it something that's going to help you market the course and spread the word? A few additional things to keep in mind, just block off more than enough time because it takes a while. It doesn't have to, but you know, if you are someone who can get overwhelmed or if it is because it's so much information, for me, it took me much longer than I was hoping it would, but I'm just thankful that we are in the home stretch and we are super excited for our launch. I will leave all of the course details in the description box. I don't want this video to become dated with course information, so I will put all of the information in the description and change it accordingly as you know time goes on. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. I am so excited. If you are as well, please check down below for all the creator to CEO course information. We are so excited to help you transform into a CEO and you know just create the life that you've always wanted. So if this video was your jam, you are welcome to join the fam. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below so I can potentially answer them in another video. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the next one.